Business is the economic pulse of a nation. It's the source of goods and services, the platform for innovation and opportunity. Hi, I'm Kevin Harrington. From small startups to global corporations, join me as we go inside the dynamic business world and explore some of today's successful enterprises. The U.S. has massive energy potential still yet to be tapped. Join me as we discuss the latest opportunities in domestic production. Over the last 10 years, renewable energy sources like wind and solar have steadily replaced fossil fuels. Cost reductions, new technologies, and the construction of new transmission lines have made this possible. In fact, studies predict that by 2030, more than 20% of power will come from wind energy. Every wind and solar generation plant has an electrical substation that collects energy from either wind turbines or solar panels. At the substation, each collector feeder requires switching and grounding reference to be provided by feeder circuit breakers and grounding devices. Additionally, a number of other circuit breakers are required in the substation such as main breakers, tie breakers, and reactive compensation breakers. The biggest challenge of our industry is to bring costs down so renewable energy can compete with fossil fuels. Our company, IM Electromechanics, manufactures innovative equipment which reduces costs at the substations in wind and solar plants while improving operation and reliability. EMA is the designer and manufacturer of VDH GSMI, a vacuum circuit breaker combined with a high-speed, mechanically interlocked grounding switch. VDH GSMI is a unique and patented system that provides both switching and grounding reference of collector feeders in one unit. Presently, over a thousand EMA breakers have been provided for over 170 wind and solar projects spanning 31 states, Canada and Mexico, participating in more than 20,000 megawatts of related capacity. One of the world's largest wind farms in operation today in Roscoe, Texas, uses EMA equipment in three out of four its substations, while the largest wind farms in the U.S are using 100% EMA equipment for collection circuit switching and grounding. VDH GSMI replaces traditional circuit breakers and grounding transformers, reducing upfront installation costs by more than 50%. While the series is specially designed for wind and solar energy, EMA also manufactures conventional vacuum circuit breakers for utility and industrial electrical substations. We support the development of renewable energies and are committed to responsibly work on the protection of the environment and the community. Our products are manufactured with 100% of recyclable components and we promote the use of vacuum technology instead of SF6, an extremely potent greenhouse gas. EMA was founded in 1952 in Buenos Aires, Argentina, where it became one of the largest manufacturers of electromechanical equipment in Latin America. In 2010, the company expanded to North America with the goal of developing special equipment for the wind and solar generation. EMA came to Sweetwater, Texas because of its proximity to the wind farms in order to reduce transportation costs and provide better lead times and faster services. Each breaker goes through rigorous quality checks and testing. Testing is performed both in process and before shipment. These include standard mechanical, functional, high voltage and contact resistance tests. Our focus is manufacturing electrical substation equipment at a high quality, environmentally friendly, cost competitive level, reaching and even exceeding our customers' expectations. All EMA equipment includes a full 24-7 parts and service backup plan. Customer service is available to assist with any technical question or issue, from the time equipment arrives to after the warranty. If necessary, service technicians will travel to the job site to make repairs. ECNR's experience working with EMA was really a great partnership. We had a need for a larger breaker in our substations and we reached out to EMA uh, to help us meet that need. They developed a breaker, delivered it to our project, and it was installed with minimal downtime to the substation, ultimately resulting in minimal impact to wind farm operations. In a world of constant growth, oxygen and water are essential elements for life and we can no longer afford to continue wasting them to generate electricity. So we have to reach a planet mobilized 100% by renewable energies long before than the objectives planned by the governments. 
otherwise it will be too late.